Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to compare the paddle maps on the left by Huawei and Google Maps on the right by uh, Google and I'm running this on my Mate XS so I can have both side by side and you have a nice little comparison so both are very quick and accurate in finding my location and uh, as you can see here uh, Google Maps has a little bit more of a detail so you can see here the speed is as well in there but this little road here where I'm sitting right now is not visible it's not really a road it's just like uh, for pedestrians to run around so walkway and yeah what is the difference you can see that both have a very similar uh, layout but we have a search at the top here that we can use it's a bit inconvenient I have to say on the larger screens but because I have to just like change my grip and tap in here to search for something um, and I have explore nearby here which is a pretty nice option in Google Maps where I can explore nearby locations as you can see here uh, which is missing from um, paddle maps in general when it comes to uh, details both map apps are pretty good and you can see if I zoom out details disappear the same goes in here if I zoom out a bit uh, stuff will disappear and only more important things will come uh, as text in here I have the option to search for restaurants directly on the screen and it will search for restaurants nearby it gives me rating system I think it's using Yelp in the background and pictures for rating uh, restaurants and so on which is pretty nice it doesn't only work for restaurants but also for normal shops and uh, other locations as well uh, I can click on search and restaurants here as well uh, I will find pretty much the same things that uh, um, Google Maps is uh, finding but you can see it is a bit different because the listing it also lists me of course where it is located and uh, how far away it is located but I have more information on Google Maps like uh, healthy food and when it opens and closes the closing and open time so it's using the Yelp data as well and when it comes to the map location itself you can see they use pretty similar iconary to display several restaurants but here restaurants are all displayed with yeah the same icon so you can see here this icon here for example a fork and a knife and here I have like a distinguishing between fork and knife and also burger so for burger for fast food and uh, fork and knife for more restaurants uh, type of uh, restaurants <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah when we take a look at here for example you can see uh, this is like here I think I'm not completely mistaken I can tap on it a Pai Thai cuisine it's telling me so I'm somewhere else food court which is like interesting so it also found the option to go into a food court where various different restaurants or um, uh, fast food uh, locations are uh, located so it's finding this as well which is interesting so in general they are finding uh, both the same amount of, of stuff but it is listed a lot more um, with more information on uh, the um, Google Maps application when it comes to navigation uh, for terms if I search for something like I search for McDonald's for example you can see uh, that it is uh, it's, it knows about McDonald's as a name so I can search for McDonald's near me or just see locations of McDonald's and then it is listing me locations of McDonald's mm, here in Queen Street for example the nearest location and if I want to do this the same thing here I can search for uh, Mac uh, Donald's you can see I have a problem because it's finding stuff in Chile or something like this so it is like a bit uh, how you enter the search term so if I enter it with an apostrophe here and written together it will also find the McDonald's but you can see the first finding is like 834 meters away which is not the one on Queen Street it is the one here so it's finding a different one the one on Queen Street was not even Quai Street in this case was not even listed so there's a difference in search terms and a difference in uh, finding uh, various things you can find most of the stuff but um, Paddles Maps is not perfect in terms of this and it kind of reminds me of the open source OSM and uh, option 
which I probably also will do a short comparison. Uh, maybe let's do it right now. So let's go out of Google Maps here and let's go into uh, Magic Earth for example. Magic Earth doesn't want to work in a dual screen but what you can see here is not optimized for uh, this kind of thing. What you can see here is also locating me, finding my location. It has like the way here as well. Uh, old government lawn is also telling me something. I can click on this and giving me information also. Um, no, it's not giving me information. But in general, Magic Earth, for example, has also the possibility if I go in here and know that somewhere here is a Wikipedia entry, I can click on this and it will read even data from Wikipedia. So it has also the information option uh, for some uh, things, locations and restaurants. I think it has no connection to Yelp or anything like this. Mm, and if you search for McDonald's, the good old-fashioned way like this you will also have problems in finding results first of all it takes a lot longer uh, both are on the same uh, internet connection and you can see it will take a little, little bit longer to find anything if at all and uh, most of the time it's location that is not close by as you can see here it found something uh, Taurora Street which is 129 kilometers from here uh, not perfect. So if you search for McDonald's uh, like this, the same way like on uh, the Huawei Petal search, you will find the one on Queen Street as first one, just like uh, Google Maps did. And uh, near Queen Street, there's another one, and uh, Huawei Street as well, here 900 meters uh, away. So you can see this is pretty comparable to uh, Petal Maps. So let's go to Petal Maps. Uh, when it comes to a difference between Petal Maps and uh, Nokia's, here we go. Let's open this like this. Uh, you can see that uh, Nokia's, here we go, also is optimized more for streets and car navigation and not so much for uh, walking navigation. So in general, you have also more optimized uh, street names and not so much optimized for uh, the foot navigation, but at least I have the option getting around to see navigation via uh, public transport, which is also possible here. You can see various addresses about public transport. I can click here and also search for uh, McDonald's, for example, and here you can see it even finds the searches that I did here for McDonald's, like 700 meters away, and uh, different street, Queen Street here, just telling me 715 meters, so it's a different one, and Quai Street 830, meter, 830 meters, uh, also I can click on this, it will show me this one, and I have the option to switch to the next one if I want to, so this is also possible. If I go to directions, it also gives me directions. Uh, by bus and by car and by uh, bike even and uh, I don't even know what is car sharing and taxi and of course walking and so this is also working pretty nice on uh, here we go maps so pedal maps in general I think is not as far it's beta it's called beta for a reason so it's not as good as Google Maps yet uh, they have a very fluid navigation, they have good map material here already and uh, comparing to Nokia Here We Go maps, I would prefer Nokia Here We Go maps because of the search results are a bit better right now, especially for similar typed uh, yeah, locations like McDonald's as you see he saw here, it also works for other locations. I just wanted to try this one because uh, I know this would work here as an example. And in general, it has nice, um, fast navigation, good maps, but it needs to have more information f for certain locations. Just like if I click on here, I not only want to see the website and uh, the uh, phone number and maybe some some other information they could like uh, work together with Wikipedia, put a Wikipedia, uh, search for Wikipedia for this uh, location and give you more information about this location, for example. Uh, uh, or work together with restaurants, um, portals that just to do like 
uh, tests of restaurants to, to, to give you a rating system there as well. But these are the first baby steps, I would say, in, in terms of creating their own uh, map application. And I think for the first try, it is not bad. It's not bad at all, indeed. But first of all, for all Huawei users that are searching for a map application, I would really suggest to you uh, either Magic Earth, which is open source and based on uh, OSM and, uh, or I mean, you can also find um, you can find uh, Magic Earth, of course, also on uh, the um, Huawei App Gallery. Uh, otherwise, just uh, keep in mind that uh, yeah, um, other applications might be better. Nokia, here we go as well. So this is everything for this little comparison between the different maps application, Paddle Maps, how does it compete to Google Maps and other applications. So uh, if you have some questions and comments, you can write them down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.